Clementine Hunter is one of the most highly acclaimed self-taught African-American artists. As depictions of life and labor in a pre-industrial South, her paintings are exceptional for their visual directness and their exuberant spirit and for their translation of a storytelling tradition into a representation of narrative through compositional design and a nuanced sense of color. Born in either December 1886 or January 1887, Hunter lived to be 101 years old. She lived almost her entire life on the Melrose Plantation along the Cane River in rural Louisiana. Hunter only briefly attended school and had no formal artistic training. She said, I never learned how to read or write because I didn't go to school. I guess that's the way the good Lord wanted it. Instead of reading and writing, he gave me the know-how to paint. When Hunter began painting around 1939, She was in her mid-fifties, and already a grandmother. Despite this late start, Hunter became a prolific artist. Creating her paintings at night, Hunter continued to work on the plantation, picking cotton and doing laundry, both subjects that would frequently appear in her art. Hunter was a devout Christian, The importance of faith in her life is evidenced in a rather unusual statement. She said, I always feel close to the Lord when I'm picking cotton. Because to pick the cotton, you don't have to think how to do it. You just do it. So that leaves my whole head to think of the Lord. I can pray. I can sing. I can do just about anything I want. Hunter's description of picking cotton as an almost devotional act might seem incongruent with the actual backbreaking labor. However, her statement does reveal how she perceived almost every activity through a lens of faith. And Hunter's art is a visual celebration of the world as she saw it. Many of Hunter's paintings feature sacred motifs. As a self-taught artist, Clementine Hunter's imagination was shaped and nourished by the place where she lived. When depicting a biblical motif, such as Christ on the cross, she saw it through her own life experience. She said, God put those pictures in my head and I put them on canvas, like he wants me to. In this painting, the crucifixion takes place in a field of cotton, as if Christ had died right there in the very cotton fields where Hunter worked and prayed. This depiction of Calvary in a cotton field Evidences how Hunter's imagination bridged the world of her life on the Melrose Plantation and the narratives of the Bible. Hunter described her artistic projects saying, I tell my stories by making pictures. I paint the story of my people, the things that happened to me and the ones I know. My paintings tell how we worked, played, and prayed. But her art is more than just a visual documentation of life and labor on a plantation in rural Louisiana. Clementine Hunter's paintings celebrate how she and her community were sustained and transformed by faith. 